He was a football-loving, shot-putting son of a soccer coach, which is why you could usually find SMU's Michael Carter on an athletic field competing at the highest level. When he wasn't earning All-America honors for the Mustangs powerhouse football program, he was setting records as an NCAA champion shot putter. Carter claimed seven NCAA Division I indoor and outdoor shot put titles in all, establishing the mark for the most titles in a single discipline along the way. Did we mention he also won an Olympic silver medal as a senior at SMU? Oh, and if you're wondering, his football career turned out to be pretty super too. Hail to the red and blue, he's a Mustang from SMU. And tonight, Michael Carter is a Hall of Famer too. It, it, it must never get old seeing that uh, interception for touchdown. Well, that was the only one, so it gets all the play. There you go, never, <laughs> never gets old. Listen, we talked about family with Joetta. Uh, your wife Sandra is here 39 years. Uh, uh, that's worth applauding for, 39 years. <laughs> Uh, tell us about the story. You told her way back when she was your childhood sweet, your high school sweetheart. You told her, I'm going to throw 80 feet for you. You're in Sacramento. What happened? Not quite. Okay. Prior to that, I, the national record was 77 feet. And my goal was at the Golden West Invitational is to break 77 feet. That's my goal. I said, this is my last high school meet. I have to do it. The night before the meet, I was talking to my girlfriend, which is Sandra, and we get off the phone, she said, throw 80 feet for me. <laughs> Mind you, my goal was to hit 77. And all of a sudden, I had to hit 80. I couldn't go back to Texas and disappoint her. So my thing was, I have to hit 80 feet. And that's the reason why the shot put record right now is 81 feet, because she put something extra in my head and I went for it. <laughs> Tell us the, the story how a, a, a pair of Chuck Taylors, a rainy day and a loss, uh, <laughs> motivated you, for you uh, further in life. This event has started everything that everyone knows about me throwing the shot put. I was, uh, went through a growth spurt in my neighborhood, in my area. Everyone wanted to be a, a running back and a, a wide receiver. I was a sprinter, I was one of the fastest kids in the school that went through a growth spurt in the seventh grade. So I came back, I wasn't the fastest anymore. And I asked the coach, Is there, what else can I do? Pointed over at the high jump, I looked at it, no, I couldn't do it. <laughs> then he said, here's the shot put. It was, mind you, no one in my neighborhood knew anything about throwing the shot put. I couldn't find one soul who can tell me anything. So he gave me the shot, I went out into the field, and I found an um, encyclopedia at home, and that's how I got started in the shot. Went there and I trained, trained, trained. My eighth grade year, I went uh, 45 feet. Se uh, ninth grade year, we were still in junior high, I kind of figured it out a bit. I had that one throw at the district meet. It went 70 feet, five inches. <laughs> and the following week, the next week, we were gonna have the city meet, so everyone, around thought that was a misprint in the, in the newspaper. So the night before the meet, it rained. You know, kids, you know, putting mud all in the ring. I, I didn't know anything about slowing down. I was fast and quick across the ring, and I slipped, slided, did everything in the world, and I lost. So everyone thought that throw was a fluke. And so I was determined to show everyone that I did know how to throw the shot put. So. I was getting ready to uh, enter high school. My dad was a high school coach on the north side. He said, son, you're going to have to come to Thomas Jefferson. But the guy that beat me, I said, where is he going to school? Where is he feeding into? Found out it was Thomas Jefferson. And so I was, and I was, well, before that, after that competition, I started crying. And I've never cried over a competition. That was the last time I ever cried over a competition, football or track. So I was determined to show everyone that I did know how to throw the shot. And that, all that did was put wood on that fire inside of me to show everyone that I can throw it and I can be the best I can possibly be. He still is to this day the greatest high school shot putter ever. Uh, how close did you...
How close did you come to going to Oklahoma instead of SMU? Wow. Well, you know, in Texas, football is 13 months out of the year. <laughs> so we had all the colleges will come to visit. Barry Switzer came down, and he said, Carter, if you come to Oklahoma, I'll make you an All-American. What well, kid didn't want to hear that, you know? So I almost went. The day before signing, I switched back to SMU because I had to decide, do I want to go somewhere and where it's already established or go somewhere where SMU was doing, they were building the program. So we had likes of Eric Dickinson. And, and when I went back and looked through it, we had four of the top sprinters in the nation that was in track and field news signed on the football scholarship. So that's how I got to SMU. We talked uh, family with Joetta. Let's end with your family, your daughter, Michelle. Okay, first American woman to win an Olympic shot put gold, 2016 games in Rio. Were, were, you, were you there? Were you watching on TV? What was your response when, when you think about <laughs> what happened there? What's it do for you? You didn't do your research. I didn't? I was a coach. There you go. Well, <laughs> listen, there's only so much you can do. Oh, that was, uh, you know, I, co I started coaching her in the seventh grade, and we worked all the way through college and every, everything from that point on. From when she graduated from college, I was tired. I didn't want to coach anymore. And I sent her off to someone else. Of course, she came back home to me. So I ended up coaching her from that point on. And the running joke in the family is, Dad, just sit over there and be quiet with your silver medal because I have the gold. So I've been hearing that for the six years now. So what I did, I thought of something. I said, OK, I got you beat. She said, no, you can't, take, you can't claim the high school record. We're, we're talking about the upper level. I said, I'm the coach of a gold medalist. So you take that. So, hey. so that's how I got her trumped. Hey. hey, listen, he looked like a sprinter on that interception. He's a Hall of Famer, <laughs> Michael Carter. Thank you.